In this tutorial, we are going to add carousel to the homepage. What we're gonna do is to create two fields in the database to define featured product and use them inside the homepage to show featured product as banner like this. So you have carousel and you can see different banners in this carousel in the homepage. When you click on a banner, you will be redirected to the product related to that banner. To get the source code of this lesson, go to this link and in the comment section, find video 35, click on it and compare your code with mine in this lesson. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to add carousel to the homepage. Open index.js in pages folder and import carousel from react responsive carousel let's install this package open your terminal press ctrl c to stop the project and npm install react responsive carousel then run again the project and don't forget to import carousel css from carousel package at this address then go to the product model and add two new fields is featured it's of type boolean and the default value is false by default the product is not featured to show on the home screen then create another field it's banner it's like image but the size of banner is different it's ideal for carousel of type a string we can use a string without having an object save the code and go back to index.js and here we need to fetch featured product I scroll down and here we are going to define another product but this time it is featured product and in the if case inside the find function define this object as filter is featured equal to true so it only returns featured product and as well as regular product return featured product so use featured products dot map and convert database object to plain text object great so it's time to get featured product in the home function and right after layout define carousel like this set autoplay to true and show thumbs to false like what we did for products copy this and make sure it is featured product we are going to convert each featured product to a dev so put a dev inside the map function and define image element set source to product dot banner so it shows the banner alternative text is product dot name save it and don't forget to set key for first element in the map function and the id differentiate each item let's use link from next link here and set href to this address slash product slash slug of product it's the link of product close the link and move it the closing tab right after the image fix the typo here and that's it it's time to go to the data.js in utils folder and for first product 
set is featured to true and set banner to slash images slash banner one.jpg copy this and put it for the second image and change banner one to banner two so for first products we have is featured and bannered and for second product make the banner two and is featured to true two so when you have a change in the product model you have to stop your project and run it again to apply the new fields inside the application let's see data slash api slash seed see that successfully click back and go to the public folder images and put banner one and banner two i already have two images so i just put them here this image and this one you can find them on my github repository but you can put your own image too let's test the result aha uh -huh. here we have two image in the carousel after the carousel inside the index put h2 and inside that put latest products set class name to h2 and set margin vertically to 4 uh -huh. here we have the carousel and latest product pass href should be set in the link and inside that we need to have anchor and move the image inside the anchor for the anchor set class name to flex let's check the result here we have two items in the carousel and if i click on a banner i will be redirected to the product page for that banner great we implemented carousel in the home page banners in the carousel come from database using is featured field in the product model so if you check the result you will see only featured product will be available in the home page in the banner let's review what we did in this session we installed react responsive carousel to show carousel in the home page we added two new fields to the product schema to define featured product and the banner for the featured product in the home page we used carousel from react responsive carousel and link from next link to display carousel in the home page also we added two images in the public images folder to show banners and in the data.js we defined two we updated first and second product to be featured like this that's it about this lesson until next lesson bye bye